Alright guys, this is uh, day four, main step number two, sculpting, and I'm pretty close to finishing the main details of this sculpture, as, as you can see. Um, I actually worked on this sculpture uh, last, I actually couldn't sleep, first of all, first of all. So I actually worked on the sculpture till five in the morning, so there's been quite a few changes. And um, I add more detail to the eyes and stuff. And uh, I, I, I covered the eye hole right there instead of, it doesn't look like, you know, because it actually looks better if it's covered like a, and uh, I fixed the mouth, added more clay in this area, you know, to make it look, and um, I've actually noticed in most scarecrows, if you type, if you go to Google and type in scarecrow horror masks, if you, if you do that, I've actually noticed that a lot of scarecrow masks have like some sort of rope around their neck, so I'm gonna do that too. But I'm actually gonna use a real rope, so yeah. Um, as you can see, I'm not, I'm still not satisfied with the sculpture, because obviously I'm not done yet. But you know, if you're not satisfied with your clay sculpture, you know, you're doing something wrong. You know, you should, you guys should find out what makes it not good and figure out the details that will make it look good. You know. Um, it doesn't look nowhere near the drawing, so that's good. The clay sculpture always looks good, better than a drawing. And, um, here's a cool tip, uh, if you guys can see this. What you guys can do is take any, you know, any, it doesn't matter, like any tool, and, you know, scrape it with dots and stuff like that. Now, as you can see, it's not... You know, they're just dots, but if you do this, you know, it kind of adds like some sort of de decaying effect or something, and that's what he used right here. See that? So yeah, be proud of your um, clay sculpture, because throughout the many times I've sculpted on an armature, if you're not proud with your sculpture, um, you know, it's not going to look good, you know, you're going to feel that your sculpture is crappy, even though it's not, you, you guys just still have to work on it, so, be proud of what you've created so far, I mean, right now, I'll be honest with you guys, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't look good, as of now, but once I'm done, you know, I'm going to love the sculpture, so yeah, always love your sculpture, and you know, use the various types of tools that you have, and also, if you guys want, if you guys want to be more detailed, you can add, you know, you can use the te texture stamps and put textures on your uh, sculpture. And for this one, since it's a scarecrow, I have to put like a like a like a woven potato sack um, texture. And what my friend told me actually, like a couple of days ago, on Facebook, was that he told me that I could use the burlap actually and just stamp it, and that actually works pretty good as you can see right there so yeah that's all for now I should be pretty I should be done with the sculpture real soon so yeah here's the sculpture for now and I'll see you guys tomorrow this is day four main step number two sculpting Day five sculpting, and as you guys can see, I'm. It actually, it actually looks pretty good right now, you know. You know and the reason why it looks good at the moment is because I covered up the eye holes right there, you know, and I added some clay right here, so it can match that eye. So that shit looks pretty good, and um, I added some uh, teeth holes right there, and I'm gonna fill it up with teeth, and I'm aware that you know scarecrows don't have teeth, but you know. I'm gonna fill that up real soon. So, what else? So yeah, here's a cool tip. Um, if you guys want your sculpture to be really, really detailed and you know, evil looking, it's always good if you guys make make every straight line like that. If you guys make every straight line, you know, imperfect and deformed. And what I mean by deformed is like that right here. You know, instead of being like a original you know circle shape I made it into like a deformed circle shape and I uh, have the bridge of the nose as you can see um, 
instead of being you know like a straight line I curved it a bit right there so it looks pretty cool right, like that what else um yeah I'm I still have to fix this but for every time you guys see like a straight you know like a broad straight line right there what you guys can do if you want is you, know, you can use like a wooden tool and you know deform it like mark off where you're gonna do add more clay and you know I can add more clay right there you know something like that but just anything to break off you know like the straight line will do so yeah just think of it like you know like that like this see how it's like not an actual circle see how it's like all you know squiggled you know Something like that, if you guys know what I'm talking about. You know, I've added some, you know, wrinkles, or whatever these are. You know, very, very fine detail. Um, so yeah, keep on practicing sculpting, and I, I'll guarantee you guys, you will get better. I don't, know how, I don't know how many times I have to say that, but it's true. So yeah, I'm, I'm almost satisfied with the sculpture, and it should be done tomorrow. Oh yeah, by the way, add, um, most, you know, some masks out there don't have, you know, emotions, but, you know, try to add, try to add some emotion to your mask, as you can see right there, you know, add more clay to the eyebrows to make it look like he's angry, you know, so oh yeah, by the way, as you can see in the drawing, there's like a patch right there, and there's a patch also right there, and, um, what I did was I marked it off first, like right there, with like you know any wooden tool will do. As you can see, you know it's it's flat, you know it's not a line. And if you guys look right here, you know, it kind of looks like the actual patch is is you know stitched on to the actual head. And if you guys want to do that, you just basically draw a line. See how flat that is? You just basically draw a line with a um, sculpting tool add clay right there you know behind the line and what you guys are gonna do is simply smoothen out you know that's all you do smoothen out the clay strip they just add on, added on and it should look like that you know it's very simple and make sure you know make sure your sculpture has depth you know and detail and make it look 3D, you know, make the, make the details look 3D, remember that, and, um, what else, as you can see, based on the, um, clay base sculpture, a couple of days back, like that, see how it's like an oval shaped, now look here, you know, it's still an oval shaped, so this is where my tip comes in, you know, deform, you guys have to deform the shape somehow so it won't look like the original shape as you guys can see if you guys know what I mean so make sure yeah so I'm gonna add a couple of you know bumps right there I guess you know some some potato sack wrinkles and some you know tear spots holes maybe and I still have to add the rope I'm actually gonna make the rope out of clay cause you know the rope that I bought was too small so I'd rather you know so yeah, I'm, I should be done with this by tomorrow. I should be able to add, you know, the texture, you know, add the teeth, and you know, more detail in this part to cover up the teeth. So yeah, you, should, you guys should always, you know, be satisfied with your sculpture. Again, you know, because if you guys aren't satisfied, it's gonna, you guys are gonna lose your will to work on it. So yeah. Keep on working on your sculpture and uh, remember, take your time. So, this is the end of day five, and we're on sculpting, and we're main step two, main step number two, which is sculpting. And once again, you know, I should be done with this by tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.